TEPCO officials say they've known for more than two years that the tank that leaked radioactive water was standing on shaky ground. They say in a test carried out in July 2011, the tank sank 20 centimeters. They're now looking into whether that had anything to do with the latest leak. The officials say the tank may have become deformed or damaged when it sank. They say a contractor had confirmed that there were no problems with it. After that, TEPCO workers disassembled the tank and reassembled it at the current site. The officials say there are two other tanks that also sank during tests. No radioactive water has been found leaking from them, but workers still transfer, will still transfer the contaminated water to different tanks as a precautionary measure.